These titles look great because I'm using some really nice colour combinations. Someone smart came up with these and I simply stole them. You see, in my Resolve, in my media pool, I've got this power bin set up and it's full of these colour swatches, which I can use for inspiration or I can simply steal the colours for my project. How cool is that? So how do you do it? Well, first things first, you need to find yourself some good colour combinations, swatches or even logos to steal from. I've linked a few websites down in the description below to get you started, but this one here is my favourite. This is from Design Wizard and there's loads of these colour combination swatches within here with a nice description. Any that you like, that's simple JPEG images. So if you right click, you then save the image as. And what I've done is I've set up a folder on my PC simply called Colour Swatches and I've saved all of them into that folder as you can see here. Then we can open up DaVinci Resolve. Now as mentioned, I'm using a power bin. So if I open up my media pool, you can see my power bins are over here on the left hand side. If you don't see power bins, don't worry. All you need to do is turn them on. So at the very top here, click on view, come on down until you see show power bins and then give it a click, making sure that that tick is now on. And then whenever you go into your media pool, you'll see power bins over here. Once you've got the power bins enabled, just give it a click, make sure you're in the master bin like I am here. Within an empty space over here, just right click and then click on new bin and then call this whatever you like. I'm going to go with swatches. We're going to open that bin. We're going to right click again and then we're going to import media. And all we're going to do, all of these color swatches, logos, screenshots, whatever we've got in here, I'm just going to highlight them all and then click on open. And there we go. So we've got all of our color swatches within our power bin within DaVinci Resolve. And we can just double click on them to have a look at them, scroll through, seeing which one we like. So let's say we like this one. I like this monkey bar, I like the grays and the yellows. So we want to steal that for my title screen. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab that out of my power bin and just drop it on my timeline. Doesn't matter where, just put it on there for reference. Now I want to do a simple title screen. So I need to grab a title for starters. So I'm going to open up my effects library. I'm going to come down to the toolbox, titles, and I'm just going to grab a standard text. And we're going to drop that on my timeline like so. I'm then just going to lengthen it out. We'll give it a click so it's highlighted in red. We're going to open up the inspector, video, title, and then we should change all of our attributes as we usually would. So let's just go with Mr. Alex Tech. And let's give it a slightly better font. or will make it a bit bigger. There we go. So now we need to steal the colors. So what you need to do here, grab your playhead on the timeline and make sure that it's over the swatch that you want to steal from. Don't click anything. You can see my text is still highlighted in red. That's the selected one. But my playhead is over the color swatch because we need the swatch to appear within our preview window here. If we look in the inspector, I've still got all the attributes for my text because that's the thing that's selected. Within there, click on this little color to open up our color picker. This is how it looks on Windows. I'll show you how it looks on Mac in a moment. Click on this box here, so custom colors. So you can assign custom colors. I'm gonna click on the first one, and then we're gonna click on pick screen color, and you get this little picker, so you can steal colors from the screen. So I'm gonna click on the gray for starters, and you can see my box here has gone gray, that's selected. And then I'm just gonna click add to custom colors, and that's added that gray down here to custom colors. I'm then going to click on the next one, this little white one. It's all going to reset to go white. I'm then going to click pick screen color once again. And this time I'm going to click on the yellow. We're going to add two custom colors. And now we've got the gray and the yellow down here. So throughout the project, I've always got these colors which I can just refer back to, making sure my text is either gray or yellow, just making it all consistent throughout. I'm then going to click on OK. Now if you're on Mac, it works in pretty much the same way, just looks a little bit different. So I'm going to click on color and we get our little color wheel popping up down here. We've got this little droplet icon. Give that a click and then you can just go over, click on the color and you can see it's down here. And then all you need to do is click that, hold your mouse, drag it over to one of these little boxes and it'll add to this custom color. We're going to do the same thing again. Click the little dropper, go to our yellow, click, drag the yellow over. It's probably a little bit hard to see, but I've got the gray and then I've got the yellow, and then we're good to go. If you're on Linux, sorry, I'm not too sure how to do it on there. I don't have a Linux box, but I assume it's something very, very similar.
So now we've got that color assigned, we can actually just delete the swatch. We don't need it on there anymore. We'll go back over here. I've already assigned my Mr. Alex Tech to be that nice yellow. So now I just need a background color. Still within the effects library, I'm gonna to go to my generators. I'm gonna grab solid color. We'll put that down here underneath. We'll lengthen that out. We'll give that solid color a click. Inspector, video, generator. We'll click on the little color. And as you can see, we've got our custom colors down here. So I'm gonna select the gray. Click on OK, and job done. Now let's say later on I was using a chapter screen, which I want to reverse all of this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna highlight my text and my background on the timeline. We're gonna hold the Alt key, and then just drag to make a nice duplicate of them, like so. And then we'll give this text a click. We'll go to the color, we'll change that to the gray, and we'll go to the background color, color, we'll change that to the yellow, and there we go. Nice, simple way of making sure you've got awesome color combinations all of the time.